when it comes to Siyam, when it comes to fasting Ramadan, Imam bin Hajar rahimahullah ta'ala mentions that the sign of an accepted Ramadan has a component of it that is a feeling and a component of it that has a very observable impact in terms of your deeds. So when it comes to the feeling, the one who is pleased with the departure of Ramadan and the one who is distressed with its coming forward, that is a sign of a Ramadan that is not accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That if one Ramadan leaves, you are not sad over its departure. And when it comes, it makes you sad. You are sad of its arrival. That is a sign that you are refusing the gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you are not allowing Ramadan to penetrate your heart whatsoever. So that is the person whose fasting only is abandoning their food and drink for a month as an exercise. But spiritually speaking, there's no penetration. So that's the feeling of Ramadan. As for the effect, it's the consistency of your deeds. Not the consistency in the same portion, but the consistency of an increase in your deeds after Ramadan. So there's a feeling and there is an impact, an observable impact. Did I quit the sins that I brought to me before Ramadan, right? Or am I still doing the same sins? And then did I increase in my good deeds or not, right? And is there a consistent increase in those good deeds or not? Whether that is that I'm now going to have a more consistent output of Quran recitation or prayer or coming to the masjid or fasting or charity or righteousness and good character. What are the observable increases in my deeds? So it's a feeling and an effect.